Nom 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 or the nom x3 here with another episode of my skyblock series here on the fantasy server skyregions.net and in this episode I will be working on making some spawner farms. I know I have two down there for the IGs and the blaze but I want to put them pretty much all together and the best way to do that would be on Y level 60 for the squid farm. So I'm going to prob I'm going to be building over here and extending that platform that's on Y level 60 all the way out to make a new floor and I'll be putting squid spawners right around this area here and then the rest of the spawners continuing on this little back row here and they'll spawn fall die uh, all the way down at the bottom and get and their their drops will be picked up so I'm going to build out this platform I'm not going to build it out in this direction just for because I don't need the space right now but I'll build it down this way and to block off over here so that um, the, the mobs can drop and, and die and I can get all their, their loot. So I'm gonna work on putting in this platform and when I'm ready to build in the, the spawner area I will get back and we'll put in the spawner area for the squid farm and also some squids. So I just finished placing in the outline to my killing platform on Y level 60. This is the general design that I'm going to go with. It's 15 blocks across and 15 blocks um, in length. So it's a 15 by 15 square with every five blocks from the side, another five blocks out. So there will be five places to place spawners and I'm planning on doing it for multiple types of spawners but I'm just gonna focus right now on getting the squids going so since this is the outline I'll also have to build down and I was gonna build a red glass um, wall to enclose the whole thing and to separate the different spawners that I'm having after I get some more glass to and dye it red so that it's red. I'm going to come down here to the same floor as my second floor which is Y level 11 and I'm gonna do the same thing as what I did up on 60. I'm gonna build it out and build a killing floor right around level 11. So I do have a lot of blocks to make in place so I'm gonna start making and placing them and when I have a better outline of where the killing floor is and uh, the sectioned off square I'll get back and place in some spawners and put in the collection system so I'll be gathering the materials and placing them and I'll be back okay so I finished putting in the red stained glass for the, the walls. I just didn't put in the last little row just because I need to be able to get in here easily to place down tracks. So I'm gonna leave this open just for now. But what I'm gonna do is put these chests here with a hopper on top. And I'm just gonna put down the the backbone of the, the track right now. So going in here we're gonna use powered rails right around the halfway point and I think it's right here so just destroy all of these all the way across and we'll put in the redstone blocks and this should keep all of these powered turn here 
And I'm just gonna do this the whole way around. They're gonna get connected up into right here, which this can just be a normal, a normal rail. But I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around. This is gonna come and loop in on this side and it's just gonna continue to go around in circles and I'll be placing slabs right on top and the hopper mine cart will, as a demonstration, go around. It'll pick up the items that are on top of the slabs. It'll come around here, go up, deposit the items into the hopper, which will go into the chest and it'll just keep circling around. So I'm going to finish placing down rails and slabs and then we'll put in the, the spawners up there. So I will get to this and be right back. I just finished putting in all of the glass and slabs and the rails. So all I need to do now is run up here real quick, place in the spawners where I want them to go. a couple of them spawn so that they'll they'll die and we can see their drops and there's their drops so put the mine cart down give it a little push and then it'll go around and it'll collect all of the stuff and we could add more mine carts to it just in case uh, it's going a little bit slow or we can do something like the auto smelter where it automatically pushes the cart after emptying itself. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do right away. We're gonna just leave it like this just because this way works, but I might switch it to the auto smelter way in the future just because that might be needed. This is going to take a little bit, so I'm going to cut the video to show when it actually comes over here. And it's coming back now. And we'll see what's inside. So it's picked up everything. It dropped off eight already over here. Maybe extend this out by one, but it's working right now, so I'm going to... I'm going to let this keep running. I'm going to also put a character up here to AFK it for a little bit just to see how much can be generated and if that one minecart can can handle the these three spawners up here without having to add another minecart or add another little system to empty the minecart. So I'm going to do this for a little while and I'll get back to you to show you what, what I've got in. So I just AFK'd it for a little bit. Um, the minecart does do a pretty good job of picking everything up. I think it has about half a stack left in it. So one more uh, hopper minecart on this track, just split up from that one, should keep it under control. I did have to add another hopper just because it wasn't able to keep up with, with just one hopper. So I will so I added another hopper to that and I'll probably add another minecart hopper a hopper minecart later but that's a basic build for this spawner I'm going to be doing the other spawners so if you're watching this video and you're selling spawners just put them on the auction house or message me and I'll buy them as long as they're for a decent price not just as much as like I can buy from the shop but I'm gonna purchase a bunch of spawners off the auction house if they're still up there and I'll take a squid spawner there is apparently an enderman spawner I'll buy it and if it's not an enderman spawner well this guy's gonna get banned so let's see what he got It's a sheep spawner, so 
I'm gonna get this guy banned, and oh, I'm gonna see if I can see if I can get my money back first. But if not, I'm gonna have this guy banned. So that's the end of this episode. I will see you in the next episode. We'll probably add some more of the different types of spawners here. I also have sheep and cow spawners to put in. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.